Today, I'm going to try and name every emperor of Rome, or at least as many as I can. <laughs> Kia ora all, welcome to Mr. Quiz. Great to see you again. Um, it's been a few days since my last video, or a week and a bit, sorry. Uh, life has been a little hectic recently, but um, I'm back, I'm here. Um, there might be um, one or two less videos per week over the next month or so, just seeing how things go, but you can still expect two or three videos a week, I would say. Um, there's been a meme during the rounds where people are asked on TikTok how often they think of the Roman Empire, and it got me thinking that I used to think about it quite a bit, because um, one of the first historical podcasts I ever listened to was The History of Rome by Mike Duncan, which is incredible. It's the history of Rome from... Um, the founding legend with Romulus and Remus all the way through to the fall of the Roman Empire. Um, and it got me thinking, how many Roman emperors could I actually name? Uh, so I found this quiz on Sporkle. Uh, there's 109 answers. Thankfully, they do list it by dyn uh, dynasty um, as well as their reign. Um, we're not going to get 100% on this, but I do wonder if I could maybe get to like 60 or 70, possibly. Uh, some of them are just going to be names that I could remember in my head. Some of them I actually will know something about. Uh, we've got 15 minutes. Um, the quiz link is in the description, so let me know how you get on below. Um, my Patreon and Buy Me A Coffee link are also in the description below if you wanted to support the channel, as well as liking, subscribing, all that kind of good stuff. We're pretty close to 8,000 subs, so why not be the 8,000th? Okay, anyway, let's jump into it. Um, I will tell you a bit about the emperors that I do know um, something about. So Julius Caesar was, of course, a dictator. He uh, handed power over to uh, his adopted son, Augustus, I believe, um, who was the first Roman emperor, per se. Before that, Rome was a kingdom and then a republic up until 27 BC. Augustus took power from after the first, uh, second triumvirate, which was Augustus, Pompey and Lepidus, I think. Cool. Uh, Augustus... Uh, gave power to his adopted son, I think Tiberius. By the way, please let me know in the comment if I get any of these facts wrong. I won't probably have time to fact check everything I say. And a lot of it is um, just information which is three or four years old or more. Um, and then Tiberius' is, well, his son was Germanicus who was murdered or died um, before he could take power. So then it was Caligula. Uh, and then Caligula was murdered by the Praetorian Guard, and then Claudius became emperor, uh, who was the uh, emperor who first conquered Britain. Um, and then after Claudius was Nero, uh, and then we move into the year of the four emperors, uh, which might sound a lot, but uh, wait until we get into the, um, <laughs> the later stages of the empire. So Nero died, and then power was seized by Galba, who I think was a... Um, uh, an army leader, like a general, um, then he was usurped by Otho, I think, um, and then he committed suicide, uh, and power was taken by Vitalius, which I think may have been, like, commander of the Rhine Legion, so this is the first kind of example of, like, Roman generals taking power rather than, um, dynastic succession, and then finally Vitalius was overthrown that same year by, um, is it, who was it, uh, this is the founder of the Flavian dynasty, so is this Vespasian? It is, okay, perfect. Just need to work out where everything fits in the puzzle. Okay, so Vespasian's first son was Titus, and then he died, and then uh, his second son Domitian took over. And then after that we move into the Nervan Antoninan dynasty, so this is the five good emperors, although there are... A few of these. Okay, so the first one I think was... I can never get these in order. Um, so there's like Trajan, Antoni Antoninus Pinus, Hadrian, Marcus Antonius. Oh, who was the first one? Um, okay, well let's just start putting some stuff down. So Trajan was here... Uh, okay, um, Antoninus Pius, oh, Antoninus Pius, is that right? Okay, I can't spell it correctly. Um, anyway, uh, Marcus Aurelius was the last of the, uh, five good emperors. Uh, we had Hadrian, okay, it's got it twice here, um, if they were co-emperors with the previous, so that makes sense. I need to get moving a little bit, I think. Um, we had Lucius Verus was in the mix here, I think. 
Uh, who was the first good emperor? Uh, oh, Nerva, right? It's in the name, Nerva Antoninus Dynasty. And this is uh, Antoninus Pius. I'm just going to check how to spell that. One second. Okay, I think I've uh, got it. Anto. Ninus Pius, there we go, perfect, okay. Um, then we still have the Nervan Antony and Dynasty, so this is going to be Commodus uh, from the movie Gladiator, and then we've got the Year of the Five Emperors, so yeah, like I said, you don't see nothing yet. Uh, the first one I think was Pertinax, so I think was actually bought the um, purple, or bought the emperorship, but he died pretty quickly. Now I'm not sure if I know... Um, okay, we've got... a. Someone in the middle there, um, but then we've got uh, the Severan dynasty. So this is going to be Septimus Severus. Is it Severius? Okay, hold on one second. Okay, so it's Septimius Severus. Uh, okay, and then uh, Caracalla. Okay, that was his son, and Geta was Caracalla's brother, I think. I'm not sure who this one in the blank here is. Um... I can probably think about it, uh, but we'll come back to that at the end. And then we have Alexander Severus was in the mix at some point. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what his relation is. Uh, and then we have Alega Bayliss, who along with um, Caligula and Caracalla and Commodus is probably one of the worst emperors of Rome. Um, and then who else have we got in the mix here? Uh, there is, okay, the year of the six emperors now we get to. Um, oh, gosh. I feel like I'm missing someone super obvious. So this guy was only around for 193, and th these guys only reigned for a year or so each. Um, okay, uh, we've got uh, the Gordians. Uh, that was a, not quite what I'm thinking of, but Gordian and Gordian the uh, Second, they were usurpers from North Africa, I think, and there's a Gordian Third later on as well, who actually takes power for six years. Um... But yeah, the dates aren't always entirely um, line up nicely because there's uh, overlapping uh, claims to the uh, to the throne. We're going to have uh, Maximinus Thorax, is that it? Yep, okay, he was um, uh, one of the first battlefield emperors. He came from uh, Thracia, or Thrace, and what's now Bulgaria, I think, or just northeastern Greece, kind of took power in a uh, coup. I think they called them barracks emperors or something like that. Okay, then we're into the crisis of the third, third century, which is when, um, yeah, things started to go pretty pear-shaped for Rome, it must be said. Um, around this time, you had guys called Pupinus uh, and Balbinus. Okay, that's that. So this one has got a guy called Pupinus. I'm just going to, I think they rode off to battle and died at some point okay now this is when it starts to get very murky for me i know in the middle of the crisis of the third century you had aurelian who was kind of the best emperor of that uh, era but we a long way before we get to him um so we're just going to start throwing out some names uh we'll have philip the arab uh maybe it's just like that okay oh that he was straight after gordian the third and interesting um gosh uh okay um and then we get, after the crisis of the third century, we get to the Tetrarchy. So, which is when they split the Roman Empire into East and West unofficially before it was officially split. And then they had Augustus and Caesar kind of as a lead emperor and deputy. So around that time, we had like Diocletian. Uh, okay, he's there three times. And of course, Constantine, one of the more famous ones. We had Constantine the second, I think, was a dude. And then I wonder if Constantine the third was somebody. Uh, no, but we did have Constance and I think Constantius. This is when I just start um, throwing names out there, really. Uh, okay, this is... Uh, Constantius was somewhere up here. Constantius Claus. Okay, there might have been a Constantius. Was there a Constance the second? Um, okay, uh, the last emperor of Western Rome is widely considered like Romulus Augustus. So they do have someone after that as well. Uh, we had Majoria Nidian who ran around Europe trying to fight vandals and a bunch of other um, Goths. Uh, we had Julian the Apostate 
who tried to bring uh, back um, pagan religion to Rome, I think. Um, civil wars, uh, Constantine's final victory was over a guy called Licinius uh, in Asia Minor. Uh, okay, who else do we have? We have... I think we have Valerian, who was the only Roman emperor, emperor captured in battle and was made a footstool by the Emperor of Persia. Uh, we have Valens, who I think will be up here somewhere. Nope, down here. I think he um, lost, was killed in battle at the Battle of Adrianople against um, Goths, perhaps. Um, and then we have a bunch of Valentinians, I think. Valenti Valentinian? Okay, there might be a Valentinian the second as well. Uh, Valentinian second? Yep, okay, is there a third? There is, okay, perfect. I don't think there's a fourth though. Okay, um, another one I know is Claudius Gothicus, but I can't tell you much about him. He is there. Um... Okay, uh, Diocletian was around at the same time as Aurelian. Uh, who else was around at that point? Uh, gosh. Um, oh, who else was ruling with Diocletian? Does it start with M? Oh, who is that guy who kind of is intertwined with Diocletian? <sighs> Oh, um, Maximian, Maximian, there we go, perfect, okay, he's in there twice, which is excellent. Are there any, like, long reigns which I'm missing? This is one year, this is one year, one year, this is two years, two years, all the way through two years, one year, wow, it really was a crisis. Oh, this one here after Valerian is 15 years. And then co-emperor. Okay, these are getting into busy ones. Did I want to check if there were other constantiances? Okay, there were Constantius the second. I did mention that before, didn't I? Maybe a third as well. Ah, uh, there are. Okay, perfect. That's uh, that's helpful. Can't tell you much about those guys. Uh, I don't think there's going to extend all the way to the fourth. Um, okay, let's just do some uh, letter association to see if we can pull any names out. Uh, we've got Aurelian, B, uh, C, D, E, F, G... Galerius. Okay, that, that rings a bell. Um, I can't tell you much about where Galerius was, but he's up here. Okay, that was six years. Um, Augustus of the East. Okay. Uh, H. Hostilian. Okay, perfect. Uh, where's Hostilian? Um, okay, here. 251. Uh, I. J. Oh, uh, J. 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 Um, Jovian, okay, Jovian is there, perfect, uh, where's Jovian, uh, down here, and we've got a Julian as well, okay, I, although I did say, yeah, that's Julian the Apostate, okay, um, two minutes to go, we've got 65, I think we've struggled to get more than a couple more, I will recognise a few of these names, and it's going to be quite hard to, um, to pull them, yeah, you look at the end there, 473 to... Four seven six, so many emperors. I am concerned that that's two five three to two six eight guy. Um, K L. I was going to say Lepidus, but um, he was pre uh, pre Augustus. Uh, L M N. Numerian. Oh, Numerian. Okay, perfect. Numerian is here. Two three. 283 to 284. I really need to go back and listen to the history of Rome. Like, I mean, in trivia, they're not going to ask you too much about these emperors you ruled for one year, but it's good to have at least a um a working knowledge of uh, 
the order in which things happen. And I feel like we hit most of the um most of the main spots. Was there just something called Severus? Severian? No. Because we've got the Severan dynasty. Uh, Severius, maybe? No. Okay. Um, Geta Caracalla. Oh, who was the guy who took over from Caracalla? He didn't last very long himself. Um, oh, gosh. Uh, no... No. By the way, the Roman Empire reached its largest point under Emperor Trajan. I think it stretched all the way to Kuwait um, before they gave up some of those lands. Yeah, at the end, you kind of had like barbarians like uh, Stilicho and stuff who were kind of ruling Rome, um, but couldn't actually be uh, emperors themselves. Okay, 66 out of 109. That's not, <laughs> not terrible. It could be worse. Let's see which ones we missed. Okay, so we missed Didius Julianus. Um, yeah, I mean, it would ring a bell, but I just wasn't going to get there. Uh, Macrinius, uh, Diadomenium, probably wasn't going to get there. I could have got Macrinius, I think, that name rings a bell. I, I have heard stories about him taking over from Caracalla and then being disposed himself. Uh, Philip II, okay, that's interesting, I could have guessed that. Trajan Decius, Herennius Etruscus, uh, Tribunianus, Gallus, Volusianus, Aemilianus, Galenius. Galenius was the one who ruled for 15 years. Okay, I don't know much much about him. Uh, Salonius, this is when they had like co-emperors as well. Quintilius, Tacticus, Florinius, Probus, Carus. I mean, these are all like essentially historical non-entities. Sorry to say, I wasn't going to get too many of these. Quirinius, Flavius, Valerius, Severus, Maxentius, I think he's mostly famous for being kind of around during the civil wars where Constantine came to power. Uh, I'm trying to work out who Constantine beat at the Battle of the uh, Milvian Bridge. That might have been Maxentius, actually, which is maybe why he's uh, he's famous. I'll check that. I will put that one fact in. Uh, Maximinius Dyer, Valerius Phalens, okay, <laughs> Sixtus Martinius, uh, Vitriano, Gratian, okay, I have heard of Gratian before, uh, Theodosius, he actually had a decent rule, didn't he? That's interesting. Oh, it's the Theodosian dynasty. Should have uh, should have worked that out. Onerius as well ruled for a decent 28 years. So yeah, these ones probably were gettable. Marcion, Petronius Maximus, Avitus Leo. This is when you start getting into names which are also a Pope's names. And then you've got all those guys who are... Um, the last bastion of emperors of the Western Roman Empire, but before it collapsed. Um, and then, of course, you had Byzantium, which carried on for another thousand years. Um, I'm interested to see the quiz stats here. What were the ones I missed? Gosh, it's so hard to keep all of these guys straight. Okay, so the most... Uh, Theodosius was the one that we missed, uh, which most people got. And then you had Didius Julianus... Theodosius II, Macrinius, Cenarius. Um, and then the one I got, which fewer people got, was Majorian. I just, for some reason, it just sticks with me. There's a funny story of him, like, just running around all of Europe, desperately trying to put out fires, literally and figuratively, as the Vandals and other Gothic tribes try and um, take Rome. But yeah, you see, it's definitely like most people have an idea about the early kind of Roman Empire, empire the first kind of 150 years, and then after that, it just um, descends into. Um, <laughs> descends into uh not chaos but crisis to use the roman word anyway that was a lot of fun um let me know if you did better than me i'm sure some of you did in the comments let me know if you have any fun facts about any of these guys and until next time i shall see you later bye